to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again. And today, man, we have a true honor talking to our special guest, the one and only Jay Glazer of Fox NFL Sunday. He's the author of a new book, Unbreakable. It's an amazing, amazing book. First and foremost, Jay, I want to welcome to the show. How are you doing this morning? Doing great, man. How are you doing? I appreciate it. Man, doing great, man. You're a legend, man. It's a true honor having you on, man. I mean, watching you personally on uh, Fox and Phil Sunday is a true uh, treat. So tell us a little bit about this book and what motivates you to write it. Yeah, you know, the book's called Unbreakable, How I Turn My Depression, Anxiety, and Motivation, and you can too. And, you know, I I already wrote a football book with my baby sister, Michael Strahan, so I didn't want to do that again. Um, (laughs) And I wanted to do something where I could be of service. Like, I... For all these years, you guys saw me on TV as the glaze, this fun, funny character and this crazy character. And look, in the world of football and fighting that I've been in, being crazy is a badge of honor. But y'all just didn't know how much pain I was in. And this is something I battled. You know, it's my earliest childhood memory. I wake up every day in something I call the gray, which is depression, anxiety. And man, it's it's harsh me to, to get out of bed every day. And I wanted to fight back. And the best way I could fight back was to help give it words. You know, I needed to build up a bigger team around me of people who understood me. And when I did this, it turned out the team's a lot bigger than I ever thought of, than I ever thought it was was going to be. And because we're all going through something, whether it's my level of clinical depression, anxiety or not, social media makes us think our lives suck. We get see nothing but hate and bullying on Twitter. So man, we're all kind of going through something. And we have, I think, more pressure nowadays than we ever had. So I wanted to give it words, and I wanted to give it words in layman's terms. I'm not your therapist. I'm not your teacher. I'm not clergy. I'm just a dude who's messed up, who's learned how to be good with his messed upness. And take us all on this journey together of how I have been able to fight and overcome my depression, anxiety, and not only just fight back, but use it to become successful. Use it to overcome things in my life where I can make my dreams come true. You talk about in the book to be proud of your scars. Can you touch on that with the audience and how they can use that to be motivation, be of service? Look, we all have scars, every one of us. And you know, look, I, I, when I walk in a room, what makes me proud of myself isn't the things I've accomplished. I've accomplished a lot. We were in, we're, me and the rest of our crew at Fox Interval Sunday, we're the only sports show in the, the television hall of fame. Um, you know, I was the first host of, a, of an MMA show in America. Um, man, I've been on Ballers for five years. I've done a lot of stuff, right? But that's not what makes me proud. When I walk in a room, my physical scars that I've overcome from all these years of training and fighting of, man, I've ruptured L4, L5 four times and L1, L2, three times and a herniated C2, three, four, five and tore my labrum and broke my ankle twice. And other than that, I'm a model of stability. But uh, but I used to walk in every room going, man, this makes me different. My scars make me different. Well, now I walk in a room going, man, I have had a fight, depression, anxiety, debilitating depression, anxiety, every damn day of my life and has not beaten me. I have beaten it back. I have won this battle. I'm winning this battle. So I walk in a room. I walk in there with this proud, this pride of these scars that I'm able to wear proudly on my chest. And when you write the book, you kind of direct the reader as a teammate. And can you kind of touch on that for the audience? What was the purpose of that? Yeah. So I, you know, I give different pillars of of how I get through the grave, you know, my depression, anxiety. And one of them was to have a team. And I describe how you can have different teams. And like for me, Fox Interval Sunday is a team. My fight team is a team. God is a team. My kids a team. Like there are different teammates. But now that I've been able to open up about it, Man, I got millions of teammates out there now. And it's every day of my life now. I get messages from people thanking me that, oh, my God, you've given me the words to now have the conversation with my kids or my husband, wife, or my grandkids. My grandmothers reached out. Um, I've had uh, a teammate now, um, a guy named Keith from, from South Carolina, Clemson, who um, was on his way to commit suicide. He was taking a three-day trip down to Hilton Head to go kill himself. And he stopped off, got some supplies, including my book, started reading it day two. He said, by the morning of day three, finish your book, packed up, went home. No longer a reason for me to kill myself. And not only that, he has since gone out and bought like 40 copies of the book himself. 
and printed up notes with it, with his phone number saying, hey, teammate, I'm here for you. This book saved my life. I hope it changes yours also. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build up where we have these teammates where we could lean into each other a lot more. Because listen, when you when you're going through it, you, you're so alone and so lonely and you feel like, ah, eh, nobody wants to hear my problems. Turns out that's not the truth. Like people really want to be there for you. And that was probably the biggest, the biggest eye opener for me in doing this book, how much people want to be there for you and it's their way of being of service. And how many people then say, man, it's funny you should say this because I go through it also. I just don't know how to talk about it. Once again, Drew Allen, you're talking to Jay Glazer of Fox and Phil Sunday, the author of Unbreakable. You can get this right now on Amazon. So I want to say again, thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.